Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and make it our glory to praise you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. You're very welcome to Mass today on the fourth Sunday of Ordinary Time. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of our sin and division. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honour you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his followers went as far as Capernaum, and as soon as the Sabbath came, Jesus went to the synagogue and he began to teach. And his teaching made a deep impression on them, because unlike the scribes, he taught them with authority. In their synagogue just then, there was a man possessed by an unclean spirit, and he shouted, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus said sharply, Be quiet, come out of him. And the unclean spirit threw the man into convulsions, and with a loud cry went out of him. The people were so astonished that they started asking each other what it all meant. Here is a teaching that is new, they said, with and with authority behind it. He gives orders even to the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And his reputation rapidly spread everywhere, through all the surrounding Galilean countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. Coming out of the railway station of a strange city one day, the famous B Bishop Fulton Sheen, I'm sure you have heard of him, he was then only Father Sheen, he stopped a small boy and asked him the way to the cathedral. The boy offered to walk with him and show him the way. 
But while walking, he decided to ask the great bishop a few questions, the priest, a few questions. What is your name? Father Sheen replied. Father Sheen. And what are you going to the cathedral for? I'm going to talk to a lot of people there. And what are you going to talk about? Oh, I'm going to tell them how to get to heaven. That's strange, was the reply, said the little boy, considering you don't even know the way to the cathedral. Well, Jesus did come to show us the way to heaven. He taught with conviction, unlike the scribes who were just repeating pious platitudes with no power in them. Even though he taught with authority, Jesus was anything but authoritarian. But his words did carry weight because when he gave orders to the unclean spirits, he sent them on their way. Now anything which drags us down, which is out of the ordinary, could be described as a bad spirit or bad karma, as some people call it. It is more than just perhaps the pandemic we're going through. It's more than just the winter blues or the odd bouts of melancholy which may affect us all from time to time. Some people actually feel so bad about themselves that they want to end it all. They say that the biggest cause for death among younger people is actually suicide. And I think that's so sad and quite worrying as well. Last Sunday, Jesus invited us to repent and believe in the good news. Now, it's the good news to know that whatever spirit is dragging us down and making our life a misery, Jesus can free us from that. The powers of darkness can bind us in different ways, like bad memories, damaging addictions, anxiety, bad guilt, suicidal thoughts, fears, and insecurities. I am inclined to believe that these could be compared to the bad spirits which Jesus wrote, rose, drove out of people, one of which we heard in today's Gospel. I noticed on an Irish newspaper not that long ago that Father Pat Collins, well, Father Pat Collins is a Vincentian, and the Vincentians were in Sheffield here in this parish. And if you remember, he gave a retreat a year in 2003. He recently told the Irish bishops that with the demise of the faith, there was increasing evidence of malicious activity of the evil one. He himself is an exorcist, so he should know. Today, Jesus drove out an unclean spirit. We often talk about people being clean when they are no longer slaves to compulsions of one kind or another. Now, these addictions themselves, they are only symptoms of a deeper malaise going on in the soul of the person. As Catholics, however, by sharing our faith in Jesus with such persons, we can bring hope to their situation and healing as well. Belief in Jesus is not just a pious feeling, but a firm confidence in his power to set us free from all that would harm or enslave us. It could be a spirit of unforgiveness which is souring some of our relationships, or a spirit of jealousy which is taking us over and causing havoc to many relationships. These spirits now need to be shown the door. But before Jesus can do it, he needs our consent. In other words, we have to want it more than anything else in our lives. When we experience relief, the Lord's words will have a deep impression on us, just like they did for the people in his day, as we heard in today's Gospel.
God is our loving Father who cares for us and knows all our needs. With confidence we pray. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. May his teaching bring hope to those who are hurting and in need of help and guidance. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who seem to lack a healthy self-acceptance. May they find healing and wholeness and become more aware of God's unique love for them. Lord, hear us. We pray for people tormented with addictions or compulsions or disorders of one kind or another. In the name of Jesus, may they be set free. Lord, hear us. We pray for our Catholic teachers. Like Jesus, may they teach with authority and help unlock the potential of each pupil in their charge. Lord, hear us. We pray for the sick, especially those on our bulletin list. May their faith in Jesus, the healer of souls and bodies, be strengthened. Lord, hear us. We pray for the dead, especially Muriel Burke, John Rowan and Ryan Worthington, who died recently. May they have the reward of their goodness. Lord, hear us. Let us pray to Mary, Mother of the Church. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Let us pause and pray for intentions of our own. The Healing Prayer God our Father, listen to our prayers today for the healing of our brothers and sisters who are affected by the coronavirus. As Jesus healed the man in the Gospel today, may he heal them and restore them to full health. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of a virgin. By the passion on the cross he freed us from unending death. By rising from the dead he gave his life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and he gave it to the disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Ralph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your merciful love. O oh Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call to you.
Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.